Now this. Several utility companies all across the country are lowering electric and gas bills for their customers, lowering the monthly bill. How about that? This is because they're passing through the tax savings directly to customers. The companies on your screen, that's what they're doing. Pepco, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Just read them right there. Andy Posda, America First Policies, joins us now. Andy, this is different. This is not giving a bonus or raising wages. It's going straight to the customer and lowering your monthly bill. This is new. It is new, and, it, and really it's a, it's a double benefit. Uh, it's a benefit to people because not only will, due to tax reform, will they have more money in their paychecks, but they're now going to have lower utility bills, and I think you'll find other service providers engaging in similar conduct. The other side of this is it's another benefit for businesses that they can pass on to employees. Not only are their taxes lower, not only are their regulatory costs lower, but now businesses are going to have lower utility costs. And I think with the weather you just went through in New York, this is ob obviously a big deal, for example, to retail businesses like restaurants in the winter to keep the place warm. Yeah. So you've got more money they can pass on to their employees with wage increases and bonuses. I, it, it, this tax bill is, has had a tremendous impact already. I can't wait to see the numbers uh, start coming up out of the Bureau of Labor Statistics over the next couple of months. Yeah, uh, it's going to be very interesting. By the way, for our viewers, on the screen just moments ago, we had the stock price of Toyota and Mazda. Why we put them on the screen is because they are investing in America. They're going to spend $1.6 billion to build Toyota cars in Alabama. How about that? That's money coming into America. Toyota's up, Mazda up on that news. Now back to and you, Andy. And in right and in right to work states, mm -hmm. I might, I, a right to work state. Yes. Precisely. They build Mercedes in Alabama. And Honda and yeah. Honda and in Hyundai. Alabama. Yeah, That's, it's the new Detroit. It is minus the union. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, back to you, Andy. Uh, with the minimum wage increases, we're going to put some food chains on the screen. Uh, they've been scaling back. Red Robin getting rid of busboys. Jack in the Box will use robots. Tim Hortons rolling back employee benefits. You saw this coming, didn't you? You said when the minimum wage goes up, they'll take it out on the people who thought they were getting a bargain. Yeah, I, mean, I, I said that in a Business Insider interview back in 2016, and I repeated it in the Wall Street Journal a number of times, and was roundly criticized on the left for warning that this would happen for warning that if you raise the minimum wage to the point where people have to adjust the cost of labor, you're going to have people that don't have jobs. So you're not going to have people getting this huge wage and able to pay rent, all these things that the, that the left claims. You're going to have large numbers of people without jobs, and the minimum wage, if you don't have a job, is zero. And without that entry-level position that gets you into the labor market, we're losing a generation because we're eliminating these entry-level jobs. It's terrible for the economy. It's terrible for the American people, and it's a fraud by the left. Hey, 